New at 10, reopening a cold case. More than 18 years after Kevin Kluwer was found stabbed to death in his Lakeview apartment, police are once again asking for your help in the investigation. CBS 2's Jackie Kostek is live in Lakeview with an update. Jackie. Yeah, Erica, the night before Kevin Kluwer was found stabbed to death, police say that he'd been out enjoying a night on North Halstead. I spoke to someone who knew Kevin, and he said that he's a victim that many people can relate to and identify with. And that is one of the many reasons why this case is still so devastating and haunting. I think a lot of, uh, of members of the LGBT community, like myself, who were living in Chicago in 2004, when you say Kevin Kluwer, are going to know exactly what you're talking about because it could have been any one of us. 18 years later, and the unsolved stabbing death of 31 year old Kevin Kluwer still haunts Richard Streetman. Unfortunately, when something this bad happens, there's no answer. But Chicago police say they're still looking for answers. The night before Kluwer was found murdered in March of 2004, police say he'd been out on North Halstead, making stops at several popular spots and going back to his Lakeview apartment with the guy he'd met that night who identified himself as Fernando. That's the person police say is their suspect. Police say their investigation shows the suspect's name was not actually Fernando, that he was a member of the gay community and that he likely fled to Puerto Rico but had returned to Chicago. Police say he had theft and prostitution related offenses but was not known to be a violent offender. Maybe people know things that they don't even realize is important. But Streetman says after all of this time, an arrest still wouldn't mean justice. There is no justice. You know, what, what, what happened to him killed his parents and not very long after. What happened to him still affects everybody who ever knew him. Again, Chicago police are asking anyone with information about this cold case to come forward. They say they need more witnesses and more evidence for the state's attorney's office to be able to prosecute. Joe and Erica. Okay, Jackie, thank you.